Selecting the appropriate HVAC heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system for a building is a critical decision that can impact energy efficiency, occupant comfort, and operating cost. Two common options are variable air volume, VAV systems, and constant volume systems. In this video, we'll help you understand when it's best to use a VAV system or a constant volume system depending on your specific requirements and goals. VAV versus constant volume zoning differences. Efficient zoning can make a world of difference in terms of energy consumption, comfort, and cost savings. When comparing variable air volume VAV systems to constant volume systems, it's essential to understand the significant zoning differences between these two approaches. In this video, we'll delve into the nuances of zoning in a VAV and constant volume system and how they impact a building's HVAC performance. VAV zone control. Variable air volume VAV systems excel in providing precise zoning control. Here's how zoning works in a VAV system. VAV systems allow for individual temperature control in various zones or spaces within a building. Each zone has its own VAV box, which modulates the airflow to meet specific heating and cooling demands. As you can see in this diagram, each room has its own controller and can determine whether they want heating or cooling. Constant volume zone control. Constant volume systems have limitations when it comes to zoning. In constant volume systems, the same airflow is delivered to all zones simultaneously. This lack of individual control can lead to variations in temperature and comfort levels. Constant volume systems struggle to adapt to changes in occupancy and temperature requirements within different zones. They are less suited for buildings with diverse thermal loads. You can see in this diagram that all rooms have to be in either cooling or heating mode. There is no option for one room to be in cooling while another is in heating mode. The VAV system can use one large air conditioner. If you wanted to keep the same five zones as the VAV system, then you can add a separate package constant volume AC unit for each zone. You can see that this will give you the same amount of zones, but will require five separate heat pumps. Temperature and air volume control. With a VAV system, the temperature and occupancy sensors continuously monitor conditions in each zone. The VAV system adjusts airflow and temperature ensuring that comfort levels are maintained in each separate zone. With a constant volume system, the controller is in one of the spaces, which can cause problems for other spaces if the room with the controller is unoccupied. This is when comfort complaints occur. Energy efficiency. Zoning in VAV systems contributes to energy efficiency by delivering conditioned air precisely where and when it's needed, reducing unnecessary heating and cooling. Constant volume systems maintain a consistent airflow even when zones require less heating or cooling. This inefficiency can lead to higher energy consumption and cost. VAV system benefits of effective zoning. Efficient zoning as seen in VAV systems offer several advantages. Customized comfort. Occupants enjoy personalized comfort levels in each zone, enhancing satisfaction and productivity. Energy savings. Zoning reduces unnecessary energy consumption, leading to lower utility bills and a reduced carbon footprint. Optimized equipment lifespan. HVAC equipment experiences less wear and tear when only operating as needed, potentially extending its lifespan. Improved air quality. Better control over airflow can contribute to improved indoor air quality by minimizing temperature variations and balancing humidity levels. When to use a VAV system. 
Verba Air Volume VAV systems are versatile and energy efficient, making them a popular choice for various applications. 1. Large and diverse spaces. VAV systems shine in buildings with multiple zones and varying occupancy levels, such as office buildings, shopping centers, or hotels. They can adapt airflow and temperature settings to meet specific zone requirements. 2. Energy Efficiency Goals When prioritizing energy efficiency and sustainability, VV systems are the preferred option. They minimize energy consumption by supplying only the necessary airflow to each zone, reducing operating costs and carbon emissions. Number 3. Occupant Comfort Matters If maintaining precise temperature control and occupant comfort is crucial, VV systems offer superior performance, ensuring consistent comfort levels throughout the building. Number four, cost savings over time. While VAV systems may have a higher initial cost due to their complexity, they offer substantial long-term savings through reduced energy bills and extended equipment lifespan. When to use a constant volume system. Constant volume systems have their place in certain scenarios. Number one, smaller and simpler spaces. In smaller buildings or spaces with consistent occupancy and minimal temperature variations, constant volume systems can be cost effective and straightforward to install. Number two, limited budget. If you have budget constraints and the building's requirements align with the capabilities of a constant volume system, it may be a more economical choice up front. Number three, minimal zone control needed. Buildings with uniform temperature and airflow requirements throughout can benefit from the simplicity of constant volume systems. Number four, ease of maintenance. Constant volume systems tend to have lower maintenance costs due to their straightforward design, making them suitable for facilities with limited maintenance resources. Making the right choice. Selecting between VAV and constant volume systems involves a careful analysis of your building's specific needs, goals, and constraints. Here's a step-by-step -step approach to help you make the right choice. Number one, evaluate building size and complexity. Assess the size, layout, and diversity of your building zones to determine whether VAV or constant volume systems are better suited. Number two, define energy efficiency objectives. If energy efficiency and sustainability are top priorities, VAV systems are likely the better choice. Number three, Consider comfort requirements. Think about occupant comfort expectations. VAV systems excel in delivering precise comfort control. Number four, analyze initial budget and long-term cost. Compare the initial investment and long-term operating cost of both systems to make an informed financial decision. Number five, consult with HVAC experts. Seek guidance from HVAC professionals who can provide tailored recommendations based on your building's unique characteristics. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.